there's uh, more in the race for the Congress uh, chief's post. Now we understand that Mukul Vasnik could in fact emerge as a consensus candidate, uh, a, a consensus uh, that uh, the Congress party and the two groups really are trying to reach one of the loyalists, the others, uh, uh, the G23, in fact, those who are seeking reform. Remember, Mukul Vasnik is one of those people who has uh, also sought reforms within the party. Could he emerge as the wild card entry or uh, a consensus candidate for the post of the Congress president. Efforts are on uh, to get him to agree. He met with A.K. Antony and will be meeting Ashok Gelot uh, as well. Rajasthan Chief Minister Ashok Gelot, meanwhile, has ruled himself out of the race for the Congress president, saying that he takes moral responsibility for what happened in Rajasthan and therefore he is not going to contest for the Congress top job. Meanwhile, uh, for the moment, we know that there are at least two other candidates uh, in the fray. Shashi Tharoor, who's going to be sub uh, submitting his nomination papers uh, tomorrow at 12.15. And uh, Digvijay Singh is also likely to be one of the other candidates. But Mukul Vasnik now emerging as uh, uh, the new possible consensus candidate. Let me go across to Sunil Prabhu, who's getting us these details. Sunil, uh, any word uh, that uh, one has picked up from Mukul Vasnik himself of late? Well, I have uh, spoken to Mr. Mukul Vasnik. He uh, is uh, definitely not uh, keen on contesting, but uh, uh, a number of senior Congress leaders uh, are trying to rally around him, both from the dissenting as well as uh, from the loyalist camp, uh, to uh, try to make him a consensus candidate. Uh, there is uh, definitely an attempt being made at this present juncture uh, to find uh, somebody who will be suitable uh, to uh, contest for that post. Uh, and uh, they, uh, while they don't take uh, Mr. Sashi Tharoor very seriously, on the other side, uh, Mr. Uh, Digvijay Singh, uh, who has taken the nomination forms, uh, has his own set of problems. Uh, and it's in that context that uh, many senior Congress leaders are trying to find uh, and see uh, that another candidate is, uh, emerges, Mr. Mukul Vasnik being considered. He was considered in 2019 uh, itself, uh, when, of course, finally, uh, the, uh, the present interim Congress president, Sonia Gandhi, uh, decided to take over uh, in the aftermath of Rahul Gandhi resigning at that CWC meeting. So it's in that backdrop uh, that uh, the situation continues, uh, but we'll have to wait and see uh, how things emerge uh, in the next few hours. Uh, because the countdown has begun and it will end at 3 p.m. tomorrow. Also, uh, Sunil, if you can help us understand what is the role that Mukul Vasnik has played in the party for all these years, uh, especially some of the critical roles which uh, uh, many in the Congress m believe uh, make him a probable a good candidate for the top job. Well, uh, firstly, Mr. Mukul Vasnik uh, is a veteran politician. He has been in the party and has been in the organization uh, for decades. Uh, he's, uh, uh, apart from the fact that he's a, he's a veteran parliamentarian himself uh, and uh, has been uh, a minister in the Narsimha Rao cabinet and carried on to be a member of the cabinet in Manmohan Singh's uh, time, uh, is a clear sign that he's a trusted loyalist. He's been a general secretary of nearly every possible state across the country. Uh, but uh, apart from that, uh, he's also uh, one of those leaders, uh, even after the 2019 when Rahul Gandhi, as I said, uh, resigned, was being considered as the post. Uh, subsequently, in 2020, uh, uh, wrote, uh, uh, wrote that letter uh, to uh, Sonia Gandhi about the, uh, along with other 23 leaders, about uh, wanting uh, an active Congress president. And it's in that backdrop uh, that uh, he is also seen as one of, one of those dissenters. So, uh, and of course, subsequently, he distinguished himself uh, and he did become a member of parliament uh, from the Rajya Sabha uh, and nominated by uh, Sonia Gandhi uh, from Rajasthan. So he is a close confidant, hmm. uh, somebody who has been, uh, who would definitely have the blessings of Sonia Gandhi, not necessarily of, Ra 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 uh, of Rahul Gandhi. Uh, and he is part of that old guard. Uh, but uh, as I said, hmm. uh, much will depend on whether he will accept uh, at this present juncture uh, that, uh, uh, you know, demand being made uh, for him to be uh, filing his nomination. Because whoever files will need to give his concurrence in terms of signature. Uh, and that's something that is, uh, you know, uh, and a prerequisite. And various attempts are being made at hmm. this present juncture 
uh, to continue uh, to fight and find a suitable candidate uh, to uh, become the Congress president. All right, uh, Sunil, many thanks for joining us with all those details. So several uh, new twists and turns, even as uh, uh, the last date for filing the nominations for the Congress uh, Chiefs uh, uh, poll ends tomorrow at 3 p.m.